with this cold I want to talk about uh, borders. Nothing has conditioned and continues to condition the life of human beings such as geographical borders. You don't have to arrive at the border between the USA and Mexico to understand how this works. Actually, there are many types of borders. And in our everyday lives, the borders are something that constantly accompany us, condition us, and very often they bind us, physically and mentally. From childhood, when we go to school, where on the wall we find the political map of the world, and we see all the borders of the country and their regions. Then, as adults, we recognize and accept this image and the existence of these borders, without questioning it. But we will talk about this in other videos. Today, I want to show you how a geographical border is a result of several factors, not necessarily political or economical, and just a few ingredients can determine where a border should pass. But to do this, I need to climb this mountain. Let's explore it together. Everything starts in 1922, when Benito Mussolini took the role of chief in the Italian government. He will rule the country under fascism until 1943. Mussolini was born in Predappio, a little town in the province of Forlì. And this is the first important point to note. About 35 km south of Predappio lies the Mount Fumaiolo, where we are now. Here there is the headwaters of the Tiber River. What is so special about this river, you may ask? Well, it's also known as the River of Rome, the capital of Italy. At that time, this territory belonged to the province of Florence in Tuscany, having kept the border of the ancient states which divided Italy until 1860, another province and another region. If it were not for Mussolini, he won't legitimize in all ways his power, even symbolically. And as we know, nothing is more effective to convey a message than an image, like for example a map. In 1923, with a decree, Mussolini moved the border of his native province and region, Romagna, until including the Mount Fumaiolo, and therefore also the source of the Tiber River. Now imagine that you are a person with little culture or a child in school, and you see a political map of Italy in the wall. You will learn that the river of the eternal city and capital of Italy has its headwaters in the same homeland of the chief. In other words, it was fated that Mussolini ruled Italy. Their destinies were sacredly tied by a river. It may not seem to be, but at that time, messages like this were very effective. And uh, actually, even today, you could try to convince someone you love to stay with you, saying it's a destiny sign that uh, he or she was born on the same days of your cat. If that doesn't work, well, Grab your boots and a warm jacket and take a walk to enjoy the nature's tranquility. Ah.